in downtown Toronto with writer-director Bruce Sweeney. How does it feel to have your film, Crimes of Mike Reckett, here at the Toronto International Film Festival? It's been a lot of fun. It's been great. What did you find out? What, did, what was your reaction when you found out you had been accepted into the program? Well, uh, I love TIFF. I love that they uh, get behind the Canadian film, so I was really, really uh, happy about it. What was your inspiration behind making this film? Well, I remember uh, Billy Wilder said that he took um, newspaper articles and would weave stories based on headlines and stories, etc. So I read an article about title fraud, land title fraud, and then I thought, uh, which is identity theft, kind of a version of that, and I thought, wouldn't it be great to have that as a staple crime that leads to another crime? And you know what I mean? And sort of power pack that moment with... Um, you know, uh, make it emotional, make it have, uh, have uh, a power that's not uh, dry because it's a, a kind of a crime that people wake up and realize, well, what do you mean I don't own my house, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to have that. I wanted to have that with um, uh, emotions attached, you know. What is at the heart of the story for you? Well, I'm very much uh, thematically driven, so I would say the heart of it is that you take this guy who has weak morals or, or questionable morals and he has to confront something uh, that he can't get past. So I think the theme is, is some mistakes you can't get past, right? And there's just so much, you watch so many films and there's so much killing and death, et cetera, that, that it's so easy. But when in fact, I think if you take someone's life, you're confronted with something that is uh, unimaginable to you, right? So I tried to make that uh, the most potent part of the movie. Why did, what made you choose Vancouver for the backdrop of your film? Well, this was uh, pretty much an ultra low budget thing. This was, um, uh, it's people I know, I just sort of rang them up. We all got together and made this film over a period of like two years off and on. And uh, we all live in Vancouver. It's just easy, you know. How did you go about casting the project? Uh, well, they're all friends of mine, so I just would uh, ring them up and say, here's what I'm doing, and I'd send the pages and then read them and then say, you know, we'd meet and shoot, et cetera. How did shooting go? Did everything run smoothly? Well, yeah, it's really evolved. Uh, the model has evolved. Instead of having like a big crew and then one camera, it's evolved into we shot with two or three cameras at the same time all the time, but it had a very uh, micro crew, very, very small. Have you been happy with the way audiences have been responding to the film? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, It's not an easy film particularly, but uh, it's sort of in that downbeat category. But uh, I think you make films that... Um, you kind of have to honor the subject matter that you're you're bringing it on, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, I it was not against the grain of what I've made before. I sort of did it to uh, try to challenge myself, right? But there are many moments when I was doing. I said, why? Why do I have to challenge myself? I mean, w uh, why do I have to discover anything, right? <laughs> um, but. You create a beast, the beast is a movie, and you got to get it done, and, and I'm just, I'm happy it's finished. And what types of projects do you hope to develop in the future? Well, I have, my new one is much more comedic, and it's, uh, it's a lot funner, and it's a lot easier to write. This one was really difficult for me. I wanted to try something different, but, uh, and, and I think uh, uh, I want to go back something that's, you know, it's easier to get the pages out after you're writing. Page after page comes out as opposed to, now what happens? Now what's next? You know what I mean? It's a kind of a, it's not instinctual somehow, right? And playing with time tenses, I find, you know, that was a real, it was a new thing formally for me too, also. So uh, I think glad it's over. I think that's the way I was. So. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on Crimes of Mike Reckett online? Uh, just go to uh, GAT. Thank you so much. Congratulations, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto.